another episode of higher expertise and today we have floor israel javier and austin guys how does it feel to be back in the office again it was great it was great i mean yeah was you awesome. see us like this where we're in the office it's just that the studio is not ready yet and we're improvising here i'm in one room javier's in the other austin's in the other israel's in the other floor's in the other so can we say that we're still working remotely? <laughs> yeah. We can Does say that we're, quar- we're quarantining distant. ourselves. Yeah. Well, <laughs> floor, quarantining floor definitely is. Floor we're definitely pra- is. We're practicing social distancing. That's right. Otherwise, we should be wearing masks. That's right. Yeah. True, That's right. true. Okay, so um, this week, uh, there are a lot of things going on. Uh, Sony came out with uh, PlayStation 5. Apple came out with a lot of things. Uh, and we're going to be talking about Apple and the Apple event. So let's let's jump right into it, guys. Um, yeah, one I, do, thing that- I do have some questions. I'm sorry, Nelson, that I'm interrupting. But <laughs> I've heard you guys talking a lot about Apple, a lot about TikTok. I'm not a news guy, so I don't really watch too many news. What's going on with all these Apple, TikTok, Epic Games? I know we, we have that discussion about that one, but what's going on with Apple now? And, you know, I, I did see the, uh, the uh, iOS 14. I haven't downloaded it yet. I, I thought I had it automatically, but it didn't happen. So what's, what's up with that? There, uh, there is a number of things that is happening, right? TikTok is... Uh, or was is getting banned from the U.S. So the the big news about TikTok is that they're getting banned from the U.S. And I think sometime in the near future, they're going to be banning the application itself from you know Apple uh, Store and Google Play Store and things like that. So uh, users are going to have a limited amount of time before they can go out there and download that TikTok application. Um, no big I think of users here. <laughs> Anybody Austin. guilty of downloading Austin. it? Uh, I believe it's being removed from the App Store on Sunday, right. this Sunday. Right. So right. whatever day this podcast comes out, just know you have a limited time to jump on the bandwagon. So TikTok I, is getting banned. It's it's uh, after after Sunday. TikTok, uh, TikTok, not TikTok. TikTok is no no more on the App Store. And. I think we should just say briefly what TikTok does, right? You know, this is an application where users dance, you know, and yeah, they, they do, dance right. to music. It's creative. And <laughs> I, then they, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta improvise. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I yes. might download well, it. Now we know who has TikTok here. No, I don't, I don't have TikTok, but I think because of the, I don't know if the ban helps TikTok or uh, makes it worse, but I do think that this banning will, uh, uh, you know, uh, allow users to download the application. I may download it just to say that I have it, but I'm not going to create an account. But the fact that it's being downloaded and being, I mean, it's being banned well, will probably make people download it. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Right. All and right. and speaking of that, speaking of that, speaking of uh, TikTok getting banned, uh, Epic Games, uh, and, uh, more specifically, Fortnite is getting banned. But um, Apple is kind of hot lately, and they came up with iOS uh, 14 with the release uh, like overnight, and developers are uh, not happy about that. And uh, so we we're gonna be talking about that in a second. Uh, but before that, I noticed that no iPhone this year. Uh, I got a question. Do you guys think that they're gonna hold? They're gonna hold it for next year. They, you think there's gonna be another announcement before the year is over? There's gonna be another event. What's your What's your thought on that? What's your thought? And why it didn't come out? I mean, I think honestly, uh, you can attribute most of the lack of new technology from Apple from the pandemic. Uh, in 2017, the iPhone 
X was being released, and due to production shortages, there was a lot less um, iPhones being available. Now, this is only rumored, but I was reading that there's going to be about 20 million less uh, iPhones being produced this year, and that's only because Apple is not sure if they can actually fulfill those orders. Now, the demand, on the other hand, for iPhones will always be high because it's a very popular product, but I I do think, Nelson, that we will see an iPhone release next year. It's just, it's been a, a, a tough year for Apple getting out new products. I think it could be, it could be like a strategy now hearing you guys. Uh, maybe, I mean, they know with all that's been going on, uh, people are saving their money for, because there is a lot of unknowns still, right? We don't know how long this is going to take. And I don't know if they, maybe it's a strategy not to release it, because they know not as Great. many people are probably going to spend the money on that when there are more, uh, you know, uh, it's a different situation these days. Yeah, I think uh, I think it goes well to the demand, right? So right now, even if you wanted to buy an iPhone, you, you know, you're going to be concerned with your financials. So the iPhone and, the, and the app, all the Apple products tend to be a very pricey uh, ecosphere, right? So what they're doing is they're creating a higher demand by not releasing a device this year. Next year, they create higher demand. People have waited two years to, to upgrade their phone, so have a higher demand, therefore get more people to upgrade. Probably. You're yeah. Is that something that you think they're going to start doing from now on? If you see, if you, if they see that it works, or do you think that uh, they're better off just the way that they were, just releasing one every year? I Who mean, knows? But yeah, go ahead, Nelson. I mean, there's uh, people from both camps. I, no one's going to be happy. Not everyone will be happy at the end of the day, and Apple knows right. that. Uh, you know, people complain in the past that uh, every year Apple is releasing the same product effectively with a new camera. And we know that's not true, but, you know, they do have like a it. point. They do have a point. You know, some of, sometimes Apple does slow down in, in terms of what they're releasing. The iPhone seems to have not innovated very much in the past couple of releases. So this could mean that there's a big leap coming. And I completely agree with Israel. I think that the fact that there's a year off, it could build a lot of demand and a lot of hype just because of the unknown, what is the the next iPhone going to be like? The anticipation. Mm -hmm. The anticipation, but I, but if, even if even iOS 14, right? If we, if we talk a little bit about iOS 14 now, uh, there is not a lot of new features, right? The cameras have always been the big thing for iPhone. You know, every iPhone uh, upgrade is usually higher, uh, more megapixels, better camera, that kind of stuff, a little bit more memory, cloud. But in my opinion, they really need to do something for people who have, uh, who consume a lot of, who consume a lot of pictures, right? They take a lot of pictures, what's happening to the iCloud. Even on the iCloud, there's not a lot of major changes. So they have lack in innovation, giving them two years as a runway for next year uh, allows them to bring up that innovation. Yeah, I think that, well, that, that there should be, that they should come up with new iOS every other year rather than every year. And that way it gives them space gives them room to come out with newer innovations. Uh, I think I agree with that. I think uh, a year is, it's, uh, in a year, one of these phones, an iPhone, is still a good phone. Uh, so uh, yeah, in my opinion, I don't think I need to change a phone every year, uh, especially these days. Maybe back in the days, yeah, after a year, you know, the battery would wear down and things like that. But these phones are different these days. The batteries are, are great. Uh, they or you can replace the battery for fifty dollars if that's correct. The case. Yeah, just you know, mm -hmm. tiny things, and then it gives them more time to come up with uh, greater features, and then they can back up the that, that high price that usually comes with a with a new release. But, yeah, but with the all feature... these releases, I I get the idea that the Apple is 
disposable and I don't like that idea. I mean, or it's super expensive to keep up with all the releases, which yeah, it's not for everybody for sure. Keeping up with the Jones. No, I th because it's an expensive phone. I, I totally agree. But also on the hardware side, there, there are no new features besides this, right? Right. There, the only thing no that changes is the camera. The camera, there's no fingerprint, you know, so th there is a limit there. Even if, even if they innovate and they, they do all their things, this device will have a limited innovation period because there's so many things that you can add only to here, right? You, you got the, the three cameras, maybe they put four, there's no fingerprint, you know, th there's a limited amount of space. They've made the, the screen completely usable. Um, so there's going to be a limited amount of, stuff. maybe they put another screen back here, you know, uh, the battery can get better, but th there is a limit. There is a limit to what they can do on the hardware side. Uh, internally, they may add more memory. They may use more features in, in terms of the iOS, but I think the, I, the, the, the devices will start to get limited. Austin, did you see any significant changes with iOS? Any feature that you particularly like? Any future, new feature that, you, that caught your eye? Uh, I mean, you know, right away I saw they added a translate application, which, um, as we all know, Google has had for a while now, but it seems like Apple has produced their own version. Um, the widgets are a pretty cool feature. Uh, it yeah. groups your apps by usage. So uh, for people that have a ton of apps, uh, it's going to make life a lot easier for you to find them quickly. Mm -hmm. What about, and I heard of, that uh, when people are calling you, it's not going to take over your screen anymore. Is that true? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And, and when, people, really and nice when you're watching a video, you can also multitask and watch video at the same time. I heard of that. Right, right. Like it, is, yeah. it gives you like a tiny screen with a video while you're doing something else? It's, mm. it's called picture in picture, right? So they have the picture in pictures for all the apps, not just for the calling and some of the others, but they have the picture in picture. And I think that's a nice uh, feature that was, you know. I don't want, I don't want them to bring up the competitor, but uh, for example, my, my girlfriend, she has a Samsung and I, I've noticed that while using the map, when I use Google Maps, I have to just look at the map or if I want to look at something else, I have to, you know, bring the other screen and I, I lost the map. On the Samsungs, instead, uh, the, on the other side, they can see they steal the map on a on a little screen while they watching something else. So I that's was picture in picture. That's picture that's what picture. you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's coming to iPhone now. Yes, yes, that's on iOS 14. Okay, I'm liking it already. So what? I, I mean, I heard someone said what? Uh, I think a new iPhone might not come out because uh, Apple seems to be taking care or focusing more on their services lately. Yeah, so, and, and yeah, that's that's something that we we gonna we gonna be talking about. And, and you know what? Let's just talk about that right now. One of the things that they came out is um, the Apple One packages, where you see they put together bundles of uh, Apple Music, Apple TV, Apple Plus. They have the cloud. They have a couple of fitness. Uh, feature they came out with I saw that they came out with fitness plus I think it is the uh, the new uh, services they have they're coming out with this services and a lot of people are kind of um, they're very uh, skeptical about that in the sense of well if they're gonna come out with services I might as well come out with bring my own device and user services you know so uh, is, are they becoming a, a a service company, or what, what? How do you see what direction are you see them taking from here on out? I will be hey, you know, because I haven't heard of those <laughs> services. What do you think? Yeah, like them? Apple Fitness, Apple Plus for for TV shows, uh, Apple Music. So all the services that are coming out to the to the Apple devices, Apple ecosystem. Apple has always been a very innovative company. And they realized that for them to be in the long-term game, 
you know, hardware is only a portion of that game. You have to have service. It's a money maker thing for them, right? It's a money 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 making uh, thing for them. They're gonna have, they're gonna want to make recurring revenues. They're gonna provide more services. They're gonna bundle up. Uh, they don't offer promotions, but they do know the bundling up makes sense, right? You got Apple Music, you got Apple Fitness, you got the watch that you want to incorporate. How do you get people to buy an Apple Watch if you have one of these? Is you give them services. Now I got fitness. Now you start integrating into different things like Peloton and things like that. So the services just becomes an extension of who Apple is. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. And it makes me wonder, maybe they're, they're starting to realize that the innovations on these devices are coming slower and slower. So, because, yeah. Because there's so much, there's only so much you can there's do. There's only the so watch. much they can so, do. That's right. Yeah, so no, they're, they're to starting to realize, oh, hold on. I mean, we're trying to, we are uh, actually reaching a point here where we are not coming up with so many new features. We, you know, are getting, <laughs> running out of ideas or something like that. Let's find something else to, you know, start diversifying our, our uh, brand. Yeah, the, the new market. And it, it goes back to your point, Javier, that you made earlier. You know, the phones are, the hardware is lasting longer and longer, and people are content keeping their older devices. And Apple is smart, and they realize that, you know, they can untap, they can tap into the fitness market, which has been, you know, like Peloton that Israel mentioned, yeah. or, you know, the, the virtual the storage streaming. like Dropbox. Apple mm -hmm. wants to compete with, with those because they know that they're already dominating the hardware market. So how do they get uh, more consumption and that through software and services? Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there, there will only be a limited amount of innovation that you can do with hardware, regardless of what you think of, right? There's only so much that you can innovate with a phone. There's only so much that you can innovate with a watch. It's great that they can give you your blood, your blood oxygen levels now, but some people may not need that, you know, but they do want the whole notion of having that watch and having a phone and having fitness. That whole notion of the fitness app on the watch is great. But Apple has always been recognized for leading, right? Uh, in, their, in the early 80s, they came out with Lisa, the Macintosh, uh, Pixar. Pixar was more Steve Jobs, but eh, whatever. Apple. Uh, then right. they came out with uh, the iPod, iTunes, that was very revolutionary, iPad, and the iPhone, and uh, the iWatch, uh, the Apple Watch, I'm sorry. They always been uh, leading and, and revolutionizing Siri, the, the well, business, I mean, Siri. Now, is uh, this Siri... the beginning of Apple kind of following instead of leading or no, Apple, Apple has, you know, sometimes like the Siri, Alex, I would argue that Alexa was better, is better, you know, than Siri, you know. Well, and what, what came out first? No, there's no question. There's no question oh, that Alexa. I agree with you. I think that Alexa, it, it's, it's, for me, it's superior than Siri. But, uh, yeah. but Siri uh, create, created the market. Yeah, but I think Alexa is a lot better than, than Siri. And, oh, yes. you know, uh, in some ways, Apple follows then lead, right? Take a look at the services, you know, the movies. Apple Plus is now following what Prime Video did, you know. Uh, iCloud follows, you know, Dropbox and, and Box and some of those, you know. So, they 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 are leaders in hardware they're leaders in certain kinds of services but they do follow and they do analyze you know what people download and 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 they 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 monitor the app very closely that's a big yeah i'm sure they look that. at what people like from other devices and and they try to uh integrate it on this and i don't want to keep putting salt on, uh, in the uh, in the wound but it looks like that picture and picture that you were saying they kind of bringing that over from from samsung <laughs> All right, and and um, before we wrap it up, 
why are the developers hot at Apple right now? They're mad because uh, oh, Apple came out with iOS over nine. No, they released the iOS overnight. They had a couple of betas. I think they have six or seven betas, but maybe eight. But they didn't give developers, uh, normally they give developers some uh, lead time for them to get their apps ready so that when iOS is the release, their apps are also ready for that version. In the case of iOS 14, they didn't give uh their developers a lot of time to upgrade and update their application so so now they're fumbling because they they everyone's downloading iOS 14 and the apps are not ready oh i see what you're saying so it's causing it might be causing issues with the different applications that we as users uh use not necessarily from apple and oh i i see your point i was uh, and it's and it's something. causing a headache. It's it's causing headache for the developers because now the user of that application has a bad experience with the app. Maybe some functionality is not working. Maybe the icon has moved a little bit, so it yes. doesn't look as right. Uh, and so you know they just don't didn't have enough time. And the developers are are furious about that. They're they they didn't like that approach. Well, it puts them in a, in a tight, uh, I mean, in a bad position because now they have to rush their, their uh, you know, applications, their developments on the applications to fix whatever bugs or issues uh, this new release yes. might, might have caused. Thank you guys for being here. And if anybody, what, what do you guys think about the Apple event? Please comment down below. And uh, if you have any questions, go to our website and ask us today how we can help your company run your applications a lot smoother follow us on social media instagram linkedin youtube vimeo and uh, with that being said thank you guys and we're going to see all of you in the next show take care guys thank you everyone Bye, guys